All right, today we are going to make some cranberry sauce. This is just a really basic cranberry sauce. And as I go through it, I'll let you know what I'm using and also how you can change it up a bit. We're at the stove, we're putting a cup of just plain white sugar. I'm using a half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I like pumpkin pie spice because it gives good flavor. It's depending on the brand, sometimes usually it's cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and allspice. Mm. The heat's not even on. I already this already smells fantastic. We need a juice. I'm using orange juice, two thirds of a cup of orange juice. Remember the amounts will be on the blog too. Uh, you could use apple, you can use whatever juice you've got. Almost any juice will go really well with cranberries. And finally, we need a third of a cup of amaretto. I love amaretto in this. It gives a wonderful flavor. And we're going to turn the heat on pretty high to a medium high. We're going to stir. We don't have to stir constantly with this. What we need to do is stir occasionally. We need the sugar to dissolve. That's our trick right now. Just get the sugar to dissolve. And this is going to take a while. Um, you don't have to be stirring it constantly. So you can do this while you're doing other things. And I always do it a day or two ahead of when I need it. Um, because it really is best if it sits in the refrigerator. So let me get this dissolved. When the sugar dissolves, I'll be back. All right, my sugar is dissolved and we're almost up to a boil. In fact, we just hit the boiling point. So now it's time to add our fruit. I'm adding two fruits. I'm adding a 12 ounce bag of cranberries. We're still on that medium high heat. And I'm adding a chopped apple, about a cup or so. I, if you've got an apple on hand, I happen to have the apple on hand, so I added it. It's optional. Do what you like. We like the apple, we like, and just like with the juice, I used orange juice today because that's what was in the refrigerator. If I had apple juice, that would have worked too. Almost any fruit juice would work. Um, if you have an orange or you have other fruits that you want to add, add them. They, they'll taste great. Berries work really well. Raspberries work, work really well in this. Or you can just leave out the extra fruit and just have the cranberries. And if you've got cranberry juice in your refrigerator, that's really good too. Now we need to cook this over the medium high heat until it, it'll come back to a boil and we need the skins to pop. When the skins start to pop, then we'll turn the heat down. So let's, we're going to watch this. I'll watch it, and when the skins start popping, I'll turn the camera back on because this could take a few minutes, probably about 10 or 15. But I'll let you know when I get back. All right, it's been about eight minutes, and I don't know if you can see or not. Let me see if I can go down a little closer. But some of the skins on the berries are starting to pop. It's coming up to a boil. One of the cool things, see if we can. Cranberries do squeak when you're cooking them. They're not loud enough for the camera to hear though. But you can see, like here, we've got popped skin on that cranberry. Oh yeah, there you can see that. All right, so now at this point, we turn it down to pretty low, probably medium low to low, put a cover on it, and we cook on low for about 10 minutes. All right, this has been cooking for about 10 minutes, covered. You can see the, the fruit is all breaking down. So now really all we need to do is take this off the heat, set it to the side, let it cool down a little bit so that it's not screaming hot, then put it in a, heat, in a container and put it in your refrigerator for at least overnight. This is something you need to make the day before. This is great not only on the plate on the side with your turkey, but we love it on turkey sandwiches. So have fun with this recipe. Make it your own. Check out the blog post for the complete recipe and some more ideas on substitutions you can make to make it yours. 